Hi viewers, welcome back. We have started a new series on aircraft maintenance engineering. In this lecture, we will be discussing about module three on electrical fundamentals, sub module two on static electricity and conduction. We will be uploading videos on each and every topic. So if you have not subscribed our channel, then please subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any new video update. Electricity is often described as being either static or dynamic. The difference between the two is based simply on whether the electrons are at rest or in motion. Static electricity is a buildup of an electrical charge on the surface of an object. It is considered static due to the fact that there is no current flowing as in the alternate current or direct current electricity. Static electricity is usually caused when non-conductive material such as rubber, plastic or glass are rubbed together causing a transfer of electrons which then results in an imbalance of charges between the two materials. The fact that there is an imbalance of charges between the two materials means that the object will exhibit an attractive or repulsive force. One of the most fundamental laws of static electricity as well as magnets deals with attraction and repulsion. Like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other. All electron possesses a negative charge and as such will repel each other. Similarly, all protons possesses a positive charge and as such will repel each other. Electrons and protons are opposite in their charge and will attract each other. Coulomb's law further defines the relationship between charges. It states that like charges repel and opposite charges attract with a force proportional to the product of the charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This means that Objects with greater charge repel similar charges and attract opposite charges with great forces. Also, as the distance between the charges become greater, the repulsion or attraction between the charges decreases. A single elementary charge is the charge that a single proton or electron possesses. The Coulomb is a standard international derived unit of electrical charge. One coulomb is equal to the charge carried by 6.241 multiplied by 10 is to the power 18 electrons. Methods of charging. The process of supplying the electrical charge or electrons to an object or losing the electrical charge from an object is called charging. An uncharged object can be charged in different ways. By charging, charging by friction, charging by conduction, or by charging by induction. So these are three methods, friction, conduction, and induction. Charging by friction. When an object is rubbed over another object, the electrons get transferred from one object to another. This transfer of electrons takes place due to friction between the two objects. The object that transfer electrons loses negative charges and the object that accepts electrons gains negative charge. Hence, the object that gains extra electrons becomes negatively charged and the object that loses electrons becomes positively charged. Thus, the two objects get charged by friction. The charge obtained on the two object is called friction charge. 
this method of charging an object is called electrification by friction charging by conduction the process of charging the uncharged object by bringing it in contact with another charged object is called charging by conduction consider an uncharged metal rod a kept on an insulating stand and a negatively charged conductor b if we touch the uncharged conductor a with the negatively charged conductor b transfer of electrons from the charged conductor to uncharged conductor takes place hence the uncharged conductor gains extra electrons and charged conductor loses electrons thus uncharged conductor a becomes negatively charged by gaining extra electrons whereas the negatively charged conductor b which loses electrons becomes positively charged charging by induction the process of charging the uncharged object by bringing another charged object near to it but not touching it is called charging by induction consider an uncharged metal sphere and a negatively charged plastic rod as shown in figure number 1 if we bring the negatively charged plastic rod near to the uncharged sphere as shown in figure number 2 charge separation starts occurring the positive charges in the sphere gets attracted towards the plastic rod and move to the one end of the sphere that is closer to the plastic rod similarly negative charge gets repelled from the plastic rod and move to the another end of the sphere that is further away from the plastic rod thus the charges in the sphere rearrange themselves in a way that all the positive charges are near to the plastic rod and all the negative charges are further away from it if this sphere is connected to a ground through the wire as shown in figure number 3 the free electrons of the sphere at farther end flow to the ground thus the sphere becomes positively charged by induction if the plastic rod is removed as shown in figure number 4 all the positive charges spread uniformly in the sphere 